Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so following on from our last video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the little flowers that we made. Um, I've got a few left here, um, and it's in conjunction with my embellishment kit one that I have on my um, in my Etsy shop. So what I've done, I've used some fabric with them. Well, first of all, I got all my embellishments and cut them all out and I've backed them onto some card, just some plain white card and I've sewn around the edges um, just gives them a little bit more stability so you can use them in your journals um, so on these ones I've used them, um, um, I've made some little pockets so I've got some fabric and the fabric is just sort of like um, sort of like a hessian but a, quite a, th a thinnish one but it's quite sturdy um, but you can use any, any fabric that you have um, and I've just sewn on or I actually glued these ones on uh, with some three in one and I've made like a little pocket and then I've stuck one of our lovely little flowers on there so the idea of these so I'm making a journal so I'm going to put them on the side of the page like that and I'm going to attach it down here so that they can just lift up and down and then you've got like a little pocket to pop whatever you like in the side so I thought they were really cute so you've got what well, you've got a pocket but you've also got all your journaling room to as well so you don't lose any of your page um, so that's one we've done with the beauty of the roses and I think these just perfect color for them um, this is a little top one so I've actually made this one into a paper clip and this one has a little top pocket in here like that so this just pops onto the top of your page with a paper clip like that and you've also and you've still got the pocket <clears throat> and then I pop the little flower on there so I thought that looks really nice and it's just just some fabric on there so you can have any fabric and then I've just put an extra little panel on there with the paper clip and I've just stuck that on with some three in one glue this is a bigger one so that again you just pop it onto the side of your page you can even fold it over like that um, to the side so you've got a bit of the fabric this side as an embellishment Ooh, if I can do it so you just bend it over like that um, and then you've got a pocket again there and then you don't lose any of your page because they just flip up which I thought was really cute and this one again it's the same I've got the pocket on this side um, but I've also got added the extra bit there so you've got like a little slip there so you've got a little tuck spot as well on that side so I just glued it from the top and the bottom so it's just the same as these here but you just add that bit and just glue the top and the bottom and then you've got that little hole through <clears throat> like that and then you've still got the pocket there and you've still got all that room to journal on so I thought that was a really nice one because that's like a double pocket double little pocket there and this one is really nice I love this one this one you I've just got a square or rectangle of fabric um, I've sewn I actually did sew this one all the way around here so then we've got a little pocket there I popped a little bit of seam binding at the top so you could just stick it to your page and again this one just flips up and down and then you've got a lovely little flower there um, and then you've got a little pocket to pop something into so you don't you waste any of your journaling space so you can do that but I love this one I think it's really nice and I think these flowers just match in so well um, got the lovely green one there so I think they match in really well so I've got a couple of different ideas for you to show you so I'm going to pop these to the side so all it is is just using this lovely fabric so use whatever fabric you've got um, and to make some little flowers so I've got a couple of ideas that I've got ready here if I can pull them out so what I've done I'm just going to make a little pocket so I've cut a piece of fabric so you just use your fabric whichever size journal that you're making so I'm just going to do it on this this is just one that I'm using at the moment so I thought I'd make a pocket so I've just got the piece of fabric like that and this is one of the belly bands out of the kit so I thought I'm going to stick that onto the top of the fabric and then we can just pop a little flower on the top. I think I was using this colour one actually. So that just sits on there. So then we've got a lovely little pocket there. 
um, to pop in all sorts of little bits and pieces in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to glue this on. You can sew it on if you want to, um, but I've already sewn around it. So if I did think about it before, I wouldn't have sewn around it. I would have sewn it straight onto the, onto the fabric. So I'm just going to pop some glue on. This is strong enough um, to hold it on anyway because um, the lip belly band's not very heavy. I'm just going to stick that. I quite like this little frayed edge at the top, like that. So we'll just stick that down, like this. And what I think I might do, actually, oops, instead of sticking this on, I might just open it back up again make a little hole there. So if I make a hole through here, just get my piece of foam and then say roughly about there's the middle. Just make a little hole through it and then we can just poke that through. Then we know it's not going to come off when we've glued it on. If we glue it on, and you can just open that up like that and you've got a lovely little pocket for your journal and that you can either glue that round or stick it or you can stick it on I mean or you can sew it around um, but I think that looks really nice and then once that's done you've got a little pocket to put some bits and pieces in so there we go that's one idea so I'll pop that to the side and um, this one I thought I'd make a, like a little belly band but going across like this. So this is some of the seam binding that we coloured. And then I've got the little flowers. So what I thought I would do is pop, I'll start from the end, I'll pop one in the middle and then one either side. And then if you glue that down so it's tight like that, you've got your little belly band so you can pop things through. So what I'm going to do again, I think I'm going to open this up instead of gluing them on. And I'm going to just pop it through the seam binding like that and then open it up. And then we'll do it the same again on this side, this one. Just open them up, make sure we get them quite level. We don't want them too close to each other, but we don't want them too close to the edge either. Just open that up like that. And then another one. Just pop that through. Make sure we're level. So it's about there. Like that. So they're not going to go anywhere. And then what we do, we just glue or sew either side like that and then you've got room then just to pop something once that's tight it shouldn't things shouldn't slip through so that just goes through so it's quite tight so I thought that looked really pretty and it's very sort of pretty that's a nice little pretty embellishment isn't it for a page so that's another idea to do with the flowers and then I've got one more um, and this one, I'm going to use two of the journaling cards and then I'm going to use two of the flowers. So what I wanted to do, this is another piece of fabric. Okay, so I'm thinking of making, so I'm going to attach them to the, the fabric like that. So we've got a little pocket this side and a little pocket that side. And then what that will do it will go round one of your pages like that so we've got a pocket this side and it just gets attached with this when you sew your signature in so then we've got a pocket that side and a pocket that side and then we attach the flowers so that's the idea so you just make it as big as the piece of fabric um, as you like um, so there's no point in me giving you the measurements um, because I, it depends on what you're going to pop on it so this is just the idea so you want to leave a little bit of room there and a little bit of room that side so what I'm going to do I'm just going to glue around three of the edges like this I would probably 
sew this on rather than glue it on. Um, I think it would probably give it a bit more strength. <clears throat> so I'll just stick that on like that. Three in one is very strong, so it's very good. So if you don't sew, it doesn't matter. Um, but I think if you're going to be flipping through your journal, I think it might be a little stronger to sew it on. So I'm going to do the same as this this side. Just leave a gap there so that's where you can sew it in. Pop these on like that. And again, what I could have done is gone through here into the pocket before I put it on, but I'm going to just glue these on. Look, mm, this way around, maybe. Yes. I think this one look pretty on there. So we just stick that on and stick this one on. Love of glue. Oops, not too close to the inside there. To make sure that that bends and doesn't get caught. Put the lid on. Squidge that down. So it's like making a little book. <clears throat> and then that will just slide on there. So that will sew in with your signature. And then you've got a little pocket here. And then when you turn it over, you've got the other one this side. And then you've got your little pocket there. I thought that was a really nice and then it just flips up. You could even put two pockets, you could even put another pocket on that side. Um, but I thought that was really nice. So there we go guys, you can use, you don't have to use fabric, you could actually use, just use paper and do it as well, but I thought the fabric was really nice. Um, you've got a couple of little pockets, so that's a foldy over pocket. And then what else did we do? We did a little pocket like this one which was nice and they're so quick and easy once all these little bits have been made you can have them in your stash and then you can just build up your um, journal as you go and then we had the little belly band like that so I thought that was really cute as well so there we go there's three ideas for you um, and I'm absolutely loving this one I do think that's really really pretty and it will go perfectly into a little shabby sheet journal um, I think these are really nice and a little pocket there so you could have a little bit of tea stain paper and a little wrap top in there to pop in there and you've got your little pocket there all right guys well i hope you enjoyed that um and i hope you'll give it a go so please do check out my um etsy shop i've got a couple more um of my digital kits in there and this is this is the one we were using embellishment kit one Alright guys, thanks for joining, take care and have a lovely day. Alright, bye bye.